right now. Many countries around the world are migrating to digital terrestrial TV. And most of the operators have opted for DVB-T2 modulation. For many of these countries, the distribution of multiplexes to transmitters over satellite is proving quick to deploy. DVB-T2, combined with a single frequency network architecture, offers the best usage of the RF spectrum for digital TV broadcasting. But 100% coverage of the population over the terrestrial infrastructure is never completely achieved because some areas are in white space. High population coverage can be very costly if it's based solely on the terrestrial infrastructure. The preferred option would be to provide viewers in white space with digital TV via satellite. But renting twice the satellite capacity is simply not viable. Thompson Video Networks has come up with a solution to provide the same service and avoid white space, with no need to duplicate the head end or the satellite resources. A single satellite feed that supports both DVB-T2 multiplexes and DTH satellite reception. This solution is easy to deploy, operate and maintain, thanks to its straightforward architecture. In the head end, the net processor multiplexer and T2 gateway generates a DTH multiplex and embeds Ghost DVB-T2 metadata. At each transmitter site, the RD1100 DVB-S2 demodulator descrambler receives the DTH signal and uses the embedded DVB-T2 metadata to deterministically generate the T2MI signal feeding the DVB-T2 modulator. Thompson Video Network's single feed solution also enables regionalization, which is a key differentiator of DTTV platforms. At the central head end, the DTH multiplex includes regional channels and DVB-T2 metadata. The DVB-T2 metadata is used to filter the services delivered to a given region, with the RD series IRDs being used to execute at each transmitter site. Filtering is deterministic for both the services and the associated SI-PSI signaling data. The new single feed solution is a welcome addition to Thompson Video Network's digital terrestrial TV offering. It will dramatically reduce CAPEX and OPEX for operators when the DTH complement to the DVB-T2 network becomes mandatory to ensure 100% coverage. It also supports regionalization while addressing SFN and content protection requirements. Thompson Video Networks heads up the DVB working group that standardizes this concept and will ensure upgradability of the solution when new standards emerge. Thompson Video Networks' new single feed solution, a straightforward architecture.